If somebody puts on a play or, or makes a movie or makes a, a CD and nobody writes about it, I mean, it's one thing if nobody comes, because that would be really depressing. But if nobody writes about it or responds to it in any kind of formal way beyond like, good job, nice, nice job, that feels like the tree falling in the forest. It's sort of like you need to have some response to the work. The role of most reviews in newspapers or magazines is to have a conversation with the reader along the lines of, well, I saw this for you. and. Uh, this is what it costs, this is what it's like, this is where you can go get it, is this worth your time? When it's really busy, I see about three to four shows a week. You know, so that, mean, that can mean up to, you know, maybe 150 shows a, a year. When I sit down in a theater and, you know, the lights come up, I'm aware on some level that there are a million decisions were made to get this work to this point that I, that I don't know. I mean, I was not in the rehearsal room, and all I can do is judge what I see in front of me. If, for example, before a show, the director and the playwright sat down with me and said, okay, we have half an hour, we're gonna explain all our intentions with this play. This, this actress is not the person we wanted to have, but she's pretty good, we think you'll, you know, if I had a debrief before I saw the show, I mean, it would probably ruin my experience of the show and also make it impossible for me to write the review. Every review is a different process of figuring out, how do I start this thing? Do I quote a line from the play and use that as an entry point? Or do you like just get down and, down and dirty and say, okay, this show just opened and, uh, this is what I thought of it. The joke I always make is that the only people who are harder on shows than critics are people who are in the shows or people who pay to go see it. You know, if you pay to see a show and you hate it, you'll be savage. Or if you're in the show and you know all well, how the sausages were made, then you're going to be, you know, harsh as well, perhaps. Again, you don't want a critic to come in and be completely ignorant of a of an artist's body of work or of what they're trying to accomplish. You want them to be you want them to be informed and open-minded and versatile and daring and all those things. But you want them to come in fresh. So I mean, the, the potential for a review to have a multimedia element to it, which is really a full experience for the reader, is great. At the same time, um, I also get a little worried that basically media companies aren't really interested in reviews because there's still this cultural perception of, 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 of reviews or critics as parasitical or just superfluous to the audience experience. I just hope that there's a middle ground between sort of the, the towering author cultural authority and gatekeeper and the person who doesn't really have any experience of the theater. I hope, I hope there's some, some middle ground that a critic can, can occupy.